this is our Rise and Shine yoga class. And I would like us to focus a little bit on our core this morning. So from a physical perspective, our core is the powerful powerhouse for all of our movement. So it's from a strong and stable core, which is everything from our neck um, in, in a personal training perspective, it's everything from our neck to our knees, but from yoga perspective, we really focus on everything from our neck to our hips. So everything in that context, front and back body makes up our core. So strong, stable core allows for ease of movement. And I want us to consider that this morning. Now from a more metaphorical perspective, uh, what is at the core of our belief or the essence of who we are is the core of who we are. So in our yoga practice, we really um, focus on not just the physical perspective, we focus on that more experiential perspective of understanding what the core is. So I have, um, have a little uh, bit of information or a little bit of a setup for our practice today. And I'm gonna invite you into a supine position, laying on your mat. So coming into a comfortable position, laying on your mat, and I'm gonna just set uh, the stage for our practice this morning. So I'm gonna give you a moment or two to get yourself comfortable, knowing that the most important thing about our practice is that it is your practice. So listen to your own body, if something I suggest today does not feel good or right in your body, make sure that you make adjustments and adaptations to find a more suitable shape or position for your body. Our practice is not so much about doing the exact poses in an exact way. It's about finding how the pose fits into your own body in this experience, in this moment. So I invite you to be very intuitive in that and to really find the postures that suit you this morning. And if something doesn't seem like a good idea, you absolutely can choose to do something different. So please, please look at your own body this morning as we move through our practice. So making yourself comfortable laying on your back, taking a moment or two to check in with that body, starting to notice how it feels. How does it feel to be laying on your mat? Start with what is tangible in your body. Notice the parts of your body that are touching your mat this morning. So perhaps your shoulder blades, uh, your hips, the back of your head. If your legs are extended, then the backs of your legs. If your feet are on the floor and your knees are bent, then, then most definitely it is the soles of your feet touching your mat. So moving around, wiggling around to allow ourselves to find comfort and ease in this initial posture and inviting the practice to be what it is for you today. So close your eyes and begin to allow your attention, your focus, your awareness to move more inward. Let go of the external experience of your day and bring your attention inward. Now as we notice the body, also noticing what we might need to take care of this morning if we have anything in our body that is causing us a little extra anxiety or a little extra uh, pain or concern let's make sure that we just honor whatever that is and then switch your focus to your breathing knowing that the breath is a tool we use to find a deeper space of relaxation on each inhale thinking about bringing in more of what you need this morning and on each exhale letting go of what you don't need this morning so if you need a little bit more peace and calm in your day then invite that in with your breath inhale in deeply bring in that peace self-compassion grace for this moment and exhaling releasing any cares any concerns any anxiety that have presented themselves already today. And for this time, for this time together, let's just simply decide to be fully present. So settling into your body, settling into your breath. I want you to picture this now. Picture a birthday card. 
And on the birthday card, there's an image of a young woman. Her picture is taken in both the 1950s, so she's dressed in Greta Garbo shorts. And in this picture, she has eight or nine hula hoops swinging madly around her hips. Can you relate to that? Some days feel like that. So many things to do, so little time. Even in the midst of our current situation where time might be more available to us, we still have many, many things to do, many things that we're thinking about, things we're trying to settle in our minds as we move through the next moment. So many hoops, and yet her countenance in the picture remains calm, her upper body seemingly perfectly still, her arms outstretched slightly as the hoops wreath around her waist in synchronized chaos. She peers at the camera, smiling peacefully as though she hadn't a care in the world. What's her secret? She's found her rhythm. She established her center. And she lets everything else move around that center. So from a physical perspective, the center is our core. It is the powerhouse for all movement. It needs to be strong and it needs to be stable. From a more embodied perspective, the core is the foundation of what we believe to be true, what we know to be true about ourselves. And when we can understand and accept that, everything else can move around us with ease. So what is your center? You are what your deep driving desire is. As your desire is, so is your will. As your will is, so is your deed. And as your deed is, so is your destiny. So first, let's set our intention. Indeed, the intention is more important than the outcome. Sankalpa is a call to action. It is easier to not listen to what is calling us, more comfortable not to change our ways. Sankalpa is to hear our inner messages and move with love in that destination. So as you settle into this first pose, consider the act of Sankalpa, your deepest heartfelt desire or your personal will. What is that it that you might want to achieve through this practice this morning? What is your purpose in being here? Is it to feel a little more calm, a little bit more at ease? Is it to strengthen your body? Or perhaps it's to strengthen the connection between your body and your breath to calm you down. And then beyond that, how is it you want to show up in this world today? What are the things that you want to do? What are the barriers that stand in your way? So settling into this posture, setting our intention, acknowledging the potency of inviting it into your life, the action will help you grow. So reconnect with your breath now to take a little bit deeper breath, drawing it into the body, all the way into the bottom of the lungs so that the belly can expand in all directions. And then filling in the chest, so filling in the upper um, regions of your chest, your upper chest. And on your exhale, release from the upper chest now, the middle of the chest, and then the lower part of your lungs. And maybe it helps to imagine that your body is like a balloon. So on the inhale, draw the breath in deeply as if filling the balloon from the bottom, the middle, and then the top. And on the exhale, slowly releasing the air from the top, the middle, and the bottom of the balloon. And do that one more time, drawing the breath deeply into the body, inflating that balloon, the bottom, the middle, and the top. And then releasing as slowly from the top, the middle, and the bottom. And then simply allow your breath 
to find its natural rhythm, perhaps now a little bit deeper, a little bit longer. For our practice today, see steadiness and ease in your breath and steadiness and ease in your postures. So remaining on our back and beginning to focus predominantly on our core through our practice today. So go ahead and open your eyes if that feels all right, or keep them closed if that makes more sense to you. When you're ready, draw your knees into your chest and take a moment or two to gently rock side to side. Think about easing out that low back. So core is important. Lots of times we think predominantly of the abdominal muscles when we talk about the core, but really it's everything from your neck all the way to your hips. It's the front muscles and it's the back muscles and it's the side muscles. Good, so gently rocking side to side here. Ease out some of that low tension from the low back. And then let's go ahead and lower our feet down onto our mat and set up for our bridge pose. So arranging the body, shoulders back and down, shoulder blades slightly together on the back. Feel the soles of the feet pressing into the mat. Walk the heels of the fingertips a little bit closer together and tuck that tummy in, drawing the belly button in and up. Feel the low back pressing towards the mat. Good, so gazing straight up towards the ceiling with the tummy tucked. On your inhale, press into your feet to lift your hips. And on your exhale, slowly release. Think one vertebrae at a time, slow and controlled. Good, tucking that tummy in. Inhale and lifting the hips. And exhaling and lowering. So we wanna have a little bit of dynamic movement at the beginning of our practice to get the body warmed up and prepared for more work. Really focus on maintaining that core engagement throughout your postures today. Tuck that tummy in, lift the hips, and on the exhale, slowly release. Let's do that one more time. Tuck that tummy in, inhale and lift, and exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Awesome, now add in a little bit of arm movement. So again, drawing that belly button in and up, low back pressing to the mat, shoulder blades underneath the back, on our inhale, lift our hips, lift the right arm and reach it back. And on the exhale, lower the hips and lower the arms. So two sides, inhale, lift the hips, lift the left arm, reach it up and back. And on the exhale, slowly lower. Let's do that again. Inhale, right arm and hip. And exhale and lower. Inhale, left arm and hip. And exhale and lower. A couple more times, inhale, right arm. And exhale, lower. Inhale, left arm. And exhale, lower. Awesome, one more time each side. Inhale, right arm. And exhale, lower. And inhale, left arm. And exhale, lower. Very nice, all right. So re-engaging that core. So making sure, let's lift the hips. Tuck that tailbone, release the low back onto the mat. Tuck the belly button in and up. Shoulder blades underneath the back. Feet are pressing into the mat. That's part of our foundation. Good, so this time, on our inhale, we're gonna lift our hips, lift both arms up, and exhale, release back and down. Lift both arms up, lift the hips up, and exhale, release back and down. Two more times, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Very nice. Bring those knees back into the chest and gently rock side to side. Awesome. So continuing to focus on that core, warming everything up from the inside out. Let's bring our knees to 90 degrees. Flex our feet to engage the muscles in our leg. Reach our arms up to the side like wings, but make sure those shoulder blades are underneath the body so the chest or the heart is a little bit lifted. The palms of our hands are reaching up to the ceiling. So again, stay really focused on the center of our body, on our core. Let's inhale here. And as we exhale, take those knees over to the right, making sure that both shoulders stay on the mat, allowing the knees to just extend only to where we have control. Good. Tuck that tummy in and on the inhale, draw the knees up to center. And on that next exhale, let's take them over to the left. So drawing those thighs towards each other, squeezing as we rotate those knees off to the left. Tuck that tummy in, inhaling up to center. 
And again, on that next exhale, take those knees over to the right, keep flexing those feet, keep looking straight up to the ceiling. And inhale, all the way back up to center. And last time, over to the left. On that next exhale, take those knees to the left. Beautiful job. All the way up to center. And now on that next exhale, allow the knees to come all the way over to the right. And the knees might move apart, that's okay. Allow the right hand to sit on top of that left thigh. And then just shift your gaze over to your left hand. If the rotation of the neck does not feel comfortable, feel free to look straight up to the ceiling or look to the right if that feels better. So move in accordance with your own body this morning as we consider the deeper concept of moving from the center of who we are essence of ourselves. Good. All right. Take those, that right arm off to the side. Tuck that tummy and squeeze the thighs. Flex the feet. Draw those knees up to center. And on that exhale, take those knees over to the left. And if they move apart, that's okay. Take your left hand on top of that right thigh. And reach the right arm off to the side. Now, again, your gaze can be to the right or the gaze can be up or if more comfortable, you can gaze to the left. Just sort of pausing and breathing here. One more breath. Now, reach that left arm out to the side, squeeze the thighs, flex the feet, tuck the tummy, draw those knees up to center, Bring the knees into the chest, ease out that low back. Good. All right, bring those knees up to center. Now extend those legs high to the sky, flex the feet. Feel like the outside edges of the feet are drawing down towards the hip and the inside edges of the feet are lifting up towards the ceiling. So the feet are nice and flexed, the legs and the muscles, or the muscles and the legs are engaged. Again, you can take your arms out to the side like wings, palms open to the ceiling. And now with control, thinking about moving from the center of our body, begin to lower that right heel slowly towards the mat. As soon as you feel that low back lifting, even slightly pause, hold and hover right here. Actively reaching out through that right heel, reaching up through the left heel. So tuck that tummy in, inhale, draw that leg up to center. Awesome, switching sides. On that next exhale, begin to lower that left heel towards the floor. Paying attention to that low back. As soon as the low back starts to move away from the floor, that's where you stay. Hold, hover, breathe. Reach and extend. tummy in, inhale, lift up, and we're going to do that one more time, so before we move, <clears throat> making sure that we have that beautiful neutral spine position, shoulders away from the ears, shoulder blades together on the back, tummy is tucked, belly button in and up, now flexing those feet, outer edges of the feet reaching to the hips, inner edges of the feet reaching to the ceiling, on the exhale begin to lower that right heel, slowly and with control, noticing when that low back moves even slightly, pausing, holding, hovering. Awesome, breathe. And then inhale, lift, all the way back up. Now preparing for that other side. On the exhale, begin to lower that left heel towards the floor, staying very connected to your core. Remember all movement comes from the core. Nice and strong and stable. And the core is the powerhouse. On the inhale, slowly lift. Awesome. Oh, let's go ahead and bend those knees. Oh, let's relax those low leg muscles. Maybe just rotate those ankles a little bit or point and flex, wiggle the toes. <coughs> Very nice. All right, let's lower
lower the feet down to the mat. Again, walking the arms up to the side leg length. You'll toe the feet wide. <clears throat> and let's drop those knees over to the right. Take that right ankle and set it on the outside of that left thigh, little internal hip rotation. Reaching the arms wide to the sides, and maybe if you feel like it, turn the palms of the hands down and walk the fingertips away from your body. So opening up through the shoulders, finding a nice stretch from the front of the body. Again, your gaze can be lifted to the ceiling, or you can be looking at that left hand. Or if it's better, again, look at the right hand. So find a position in your own neck that feels comfortable. Good, turn the palms of your hands over, release and relax those shoulders, unwind the legs, draw the knees up to center, and on that next exhale, drop those knees over to the left. Bring that left ankle to the outside of that right thigh, just adding a little bit of weight bit of an IT band stretch, internal hip rotation. And again, if it feels all right, turn the palms hand, and one more time, turn the palms down. <coughs> and one more time, walk your fingertips away from the center of your body. And shift your gaze to the right, to center, or to the left. Close your eyes if that feels like a good idea. One more breath here. And turn the palms of the hands over, relax those shoulders, unwind the legs. One more time, we're gonna bring those knees to the chest just to release that low back. So as you hug the knees into the chest, that low back rounds, maybe lift your head and draw the forehead and your knees towards each other. Make yourself into a little bit of a ball, flex those feet if that feels good. Awesome, maybe coming back <coughs> with your knees bent at 90 degrees. We're gonna drape our left thigh over top of our right thigh. So if you can take eagle legs, go ahead and do that. But if not, that's okay. Just drape the thighs over top of each other. Eagle legs just means you're hooking your toes behind that right calf. Now you can reach your arms up to your side. Bring your left arm on the bottom and your right arm on the top. And this is a little bit more uh, available position for some of us. If you like, you could then open up into eagle arms, but I'm gonna stay right here. <clears throat> and now we're gonna add a little bit of core work here. So on our inhale, we're gonna lift our elbows and reach our toes to the floor. And on our exhale, we're gonna bring our head and our elbows towards our knees. Inhale, opening up, toes touch down, exhale elbows towards the knees. Inhale and open. Exhale, tuck and round. One more time. Inhale and open. And exhale, tuck and round. Hold right here. Breathe. Awesome. Come back to center. Unwind your arms and take your knees over to the right. And allow your right hand to rest on the outside of that left thigh. And again, shift your gaze. So working with those internal and external oblique muscles in all of our twists this morning, strengthening not just the superficial muscles, but working on those deeper core muscles. Release the arms up to the side, tuck that tummy in, draw those knees up to center, unwind the legs, bring the hands behind the knees, draw the knees to the chest, knees wide, soles of the feet to the ceiling for happy baby. So maybe it would feel good to rock side to side here. Maybe it would feel good to stay completely still. Hands can remain here. Hands can reach up to wrap around those big toes. Check in with your body with your breath. All right, let's come back to center and bring those knees back to 90 degrees. Now draping that right thigh over the left thigh, knowing that you can hook the toes behind, 
if you like eagle leg. <clears throat> Again, reach the arms out to the side. Now right arm on the bottom, left arm on the top. Give yourself a little bit of a hug here. Know that you can open up into eagle arms if you like. I'm gonna stay right here. Making sure those core muscles are engaged, belly button in and up. On our inhale, lift the elbows, let those toes touch the mat. And on the exhale, lift the forehead, lift the elbows towards the knees. Inhale, extend, open up. Exhale, tuck and move. Inhale, open up. Exhale, tuck and round. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Hold. Exhale, slowly release. Unwind the arms. Take those knees over to the left. Bring your left hand to the outside of that right thigh. And adjust your gaze your eyes if you like. Stay for a few breaths here. And again, when you're ready, take the arms up to the sides, tuck that tummy in, draw those knees to center, unwind the legs. Let's come back to that happy baby. Knees to the outside of the ribs, and then lift the soles of the feet to the ceiling, opening up those hips, rocking side to side if that's all right, reaching out if that's available to you. Again, lift into your own body. And let's come back to center. Bring those knees back to 90 degrees, really rock and roll, which is just lovely for the spine, also incorporating those core muscles. Tuck your chin, roll up, let the toes hover, hover, roll back down. So do that a few times. Just rocking and rolling the length of your spine. Maybe just one more. Awesome, hold right here. All right, so let's think about boat pose. Shoulders back and down, chest is open, core is engaged, extend the legs, flex the feet, and then decide maybe to let go, if that's all right. Balance, focus, breath. Slowly lower those feet. Give yourself a little hug, round out that spine. Awesome. All right, let's sweep those legs to the back of the mat and make our way into our tabletop position. Coming into tabletop position with the wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Another space where we are creating that stability in our core, neutral spine position. So shoulders back and away from the ears, tummy is tucked, neck is in line with the spine. Let's begin to lift the hips, drop the belly, lift the gaze, inhale. Tuck the tailbone, round the back, tuck the chin and exhale. So continue to flow like that with your breath, inhaling, opening, exhaling, tucking and rounding. Awesome, inhale, lifting up, exhaling, tucking and rounding that spine. Inhale, lifting up, opening cow pose. Exhaling, tuck and round that spine, hold your cat pose. Maybe come right up onto the fingertips like an angry cat. Tuck the chin to the chest. Beautiful. Hold, maybe one more breath if that feels all right. And then relax, come back to that neutral spine position. Let's take a moment to bring our big toes together. Take those knees wide across the mat. Take the hips back and the hands forward. Let that head come down in between the biceps. And cuddle into your first child's pose. Safe space. Anytime you need to during your practice, you can always come to your child's pose to check in with your body, to check in with your breath. Today, we can even check back in with that intention we set for our practice. What was it we wanted from the practice? Or how is it we want, do we want to move from this practice and into the rest of our day? What are the things we want to take with us? It's very important to us. And what are the things we want to leave behind? Okay. 
So visualizing you're making your bed now, let's think about just fluffing those cheeks on your bed as you breathe in your child's pose. So from, in, from here, let's inhale, lifting those cheeks high to the sky and exhale, letting them float back down towards your bed. So visualizing that movement, connect your breath with that movement. Inhale, lifting up and exhale, releasing, letting go. Float the cheeks down to the bed. One more time, inhale, lifting up and exhale. To our tabletop position again wrists are under the shoulders knees are under the hips shoulders are away from the ears tuck that belly button in and up let's take our right leg back behind us let's go ahead and flex that foot lift it just to the height of the hip so really staying focused on keeping things balanced so the hips are parallel to the mat we're flexing that foot radiating energetically through the heel so everything comes from the center of our body and reaches back now lifting the left arm to the height of the shoulder, draw that shoulder back into the shoulder socket, but energy energetically reach through the fingertips. So it's like you're moving in two directions, forward through the fingers, back through the heel. Beautiful job, hold and breathe. Inhale, get a little bit longer. Exhale, hug everything to the center of your body. Good, inhale, get a little bit longer. Exhale, hug everything to the center. Good, one more inhale. Now on your exhale, bring that knee and elbow together, round your back. Inhale, reach out strong and with control. Exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, reach and extend. Exhale, tuck and round. Two more inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful, inhale, hold right here. We'll go ahead and bend that back knee, flex that foot. At, we're gonna inhale here, we're gonna exhale, reach back and tap. We're gonna inhale, reach out, exhale, reach back and tap. Beautiful, flow with the breath. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, hold. See if you can grab that top of that foot for your ankle, press back through the shin, press forward with your heart. Nice little quad stretch. Cross pose. And then with control, slowly release and bring that hand and that knee down to the mat. You might need a moment or two if you're like me just to sit, sit back, give your wrist a little bit of a rotation, wiggle things out before we do that other side. I hope you're feeling a little bit of heat in your body as we focus on the core, the powerhouse. Generating that heat from the center out. Good. All right, back to that tabletop position, shoulders back and away from the ears, tummy is tucked. Gaze is down at the mat, the neck is in line with the spine. Take that left leg back behind us, flex that foot, lift it to the height of the hip. Again, think about the hips being parallel to each other. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Reach back through the heel. Right arm to the height of the shoulder. Draw that shoulder back into the shoulder socket. Keep looking down at your mat. Now, think reaching from the center of your body forward and back at the same time. On your inhale, get a little longer. Energetically reach through the fingers. On your exhale, hug everything to the center of your body like a corset. Good, inhale, get a little longer. Exhale, hug everything to the center. Inhale, a little bit longer. Exhale, hug everything to the center. Good, inhale, and now on that exhale, knee and elbow together, round the back. Inhale, reach, exhale, round. Strong and powerful, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, hold. Good, inhale, reach out. Go ahead and bend that back knee, flex your foot. Exhale, reach back and tap. Inhale, extend out, exhale, back and tap. Inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale, exhale, see if you can grab the top of the foot or the ankle. 
press back through the shin, press forward with the heart, press down into that left hand. Awesome crossbow. And again, with control, reach forward, reach back. Let's lower the hand, lower the knee. Bring the big toes together and the knees wide. Let the hips go back and the hands come forward and let the head fall in between the biceps. Find your breath. your tabletop position, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips, shoulders away from the ears. We're going to kind of curl those toes. We're going to let the shins come off the mat an inch or so and let them hover. So bear pose. Let's start by tucking the chin to the chest, rounding out that upper back, leading with the center of our body towards the ceiling. Good. Now shift your weight back, bring your belly close to your thighs, look at your hands, and start to straighten those legs. A little bit or a lot. Maybe walk the feet back a tiny bit. Start to lift and lower those heels. As you spread the fingers out wide on your mat like starfish. Lean back into your hips and your thighs. Downward facing dog. Lift and lower those heels. Get that beautiful stretch for the back of the body. Good. Inhale and exhale. Let all of that breath release from your body. Let it all go. Awesome. Find your downward facing dog. Hold for a moment or two. Check in with that neck and shoulders, making sure everything is relaxed and loose. Awesome. Look at your hands. Inhale forward into your plank. Hold right here. Energetically reach through the heels. Reach forward through the crown of the head. Bring the front side of your body towards the back side of your body and as if you're in between two planes of glass. Lift the hip, exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome. Good. One more time, looking at your hands. Inhaling forward, hold your plank. Exhaling. Nice and strong. Bring our knees down, draw our shoulders back. Slide our heart forward, tap our elbows, lower all the way down onto the mat with control. Let's come into Sphinx Pose, a little bit of a back bend. So strengthening our core isn't just about strengthening the superficial muscles, the muscles on the front side of the body. It's about finding the balance between the front and the back. So making sure we spend some time strengthening the muscles on the back of our body, finding our way into our Sphinx Pose, nice little back bend. So elbows are underneath the shoulders, fingers are spread out nice and wide. Let's draw those elbows towards our hips, draw our heart forward. Bring your shoulder blades together on your back. And notice the muscles in the back. So you should feel the engagement of the muscles on the back side of your body as you open and stretch the muscles on the front side of your body. Press into your feet. Let your knees and your thighs lift off a little bit. Good, hold your sphinx pose. Now go ahead and tuck your chin to your chest and peel your low belly off the mat. Good. So just your forearms pressing into the mat. Nice and strong. Keep that chin tucked to the chest. And slowly release. Oh, come up into that sphinx pose. Inhale. And then we're going to do that again. So tuck your chin to your chest. Engage your core, press and lift, peel that low belly off the mat. Hold, pressing into those forearms, pressing equally into both sides of your feet. Good, slowly release. Inhale, come back to your sphinx pose, a little bit of a back bend. And exhale, release down. Bring your hands by your rib cage again, inhaling deeply, exhaling all the way back to your child's pose, and release. Good. Lift your gaze to look at your hands, come to your knees. Curl your toes, lift your knees, and take your hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
again a moment or two shifting things side to side just moving the body remember movement is medicine how does it feel this morning shake it out or hold it still whatever seems like a good idea and look at your hands and walk your feet to meet your hands top of your mat soften the knees bring the belly onto the thighs let that head fall down and chin tuck your hands rest on the floor if that's available or hands on your shins or if you have a block go ahead and use that but let's bend the knee to protect that low back so belly resting on the thigh helps to support that low back get that hamstring stretch so let's go ahead and activate or firm up the front thigh so activate those quadricep muscles now see if that changes that hamstring stretch a little bit. Good, think about drawing the knees up towards the hips, head hanging down towards the floor. Beautiful job. And our hands onto our shins. Come into that neutral spine position in our flat back, shoulders away from the ears, chin tucked a little bit to the chest. Spine nice and long. Exhale, let's go ahead, fold that out, tuck that chin, release that body forward, head hanging down. Relax those shoulders, relax the neck. Good, holding here again, go ahead and activate those quadriceps, draw the kneecaps towards the hips while the belly stays connected to the thighs. Good, enhancing the shins. Looking forward. Beautiful. And on the exhale, release back forward fold. Now tuck the chin and slowly slide the hands up the shins, past the knees, up the front of the thighs. Lift those shoulders up. Release those shoulders back and down. Beautiful. And let's come into our mountain pose. So I'm going to just stay sideways on my mat. So come into your mountain pose and stand in your mountain pose with ease. So let all of the parts of the body do their job. Let's bring our knees over top of our ankles, a little softness in the knees, hips over top of the knee, shoulders over top of the hips. Let's take a moment to lift those shoulders up and release those shoulder blades back and down. Turn the palms of your hands forward and then let's consider bringing our armpits towards our hips. So imagine you have pockets, side pockets. And you want to draw the armpits to the side pockets. That's going to secure our shoulder blades. We're going to establish a beautiful neutral spine position. Shoulder girdle stable, pelvic girdle stable. Think about bringing the hip bones towards each other on the front side of your body. Close your curtain. Good. Palms of the hands open, thumbs back, everything engaged. But in the context of your mountain pose, this beautiful, strong, foundational posture, find ease. Let the body do its work. The skeleton, let the muscles do their work. And let the breath do its work. Inhale and exhale. And now let's flow, combining breath with movement. Inhale, reaching up, tall mountain. Exhale, softening the knees, forward fold. Hands on your shins, inhale, looking forward. Exhale, forward fold, soften the knees. Right foot back, low lunge. Left foot back, downward facing dog. Let's stay here just for a moment again. Lift and lower the heels. Move, stretch the calves, stretch the hamstrings. Look at the hands, inhale forward in your plank fold or perhaps modify. Slide forward, we're gonna lower all the way down so that we can come into cobra, lift the forehead and the chest. Exhale, child's pose, big stretch here. Curl the toes, lift the knees, downward facing dog. Look at your hands and walk or step forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend those knees. Inhale, rise up, tall mountain. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Good, again, inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, forward fold, soften the knees. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, soften the knees. Left foot back, low lunge. Right foot, downward facing dog. A 
moment or two to get everything stretched out. Look at your hands, inhale forward in your plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift to cobra. Exhale, through child's pose. Curling the toes, lifting the knees, downward facing dog. Walking and stepping to the top of the mat. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, down deep. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to our heart center. Beautiful, inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink to chair pose, nice and strong. Let's bring our hands to our heart center. Sink a little lower, lift the gaze. Belly to the thighs, hands to the floor, forward fold, lift the hips. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees. Right foot back, low lunge. We're gonna change this to warrior one, so set that back foot down on the mat. Tuck your tummy in and inhale, rise up. Warrior one, exhale, sink. Inhale up, exhale. Warrior two. <laughs> Turn that front hand over and reverse your warrior. Open up. Strong, powerful core. All movement comes from the stability and the strength of your core. Exhale, warrior two. Slowly bring the hands to frame that forward foot, turn that back heel up, step that left foot back, downward facing dog. Good, lift and lower those heels. Look at your hands, inhale forward in your plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up to cobra, nice strong back. Exhale to your child's pose. Nice big stretch. Curl the toes, lift the knees, downward facing dog. From here, let's lift that left leg long behind us. Bring that knee to the chest and then set it up in between our feet. Let's walk our fingers to the long side of our mat for four standing straddle. On your exhale, fold it out a little bit or a lot. Keeping softness in the knees, maybe bring the hands in between the feet. Letting go of tension off the back side of the body here. Gently turn that head side to side. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, nice flat back. Soften the knees, heel toe in a tiny bit, and let's walk our fingers around that back foot or framing that right foot at the back of your mat. Let's take that back foot and step it forward, forward fold, release down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend those knees, inhale, rise up. Exhale, right back to chair pose, sink down. Bring our hands to our heart center, sink a little deeper. Hands to the floor, belly to the thighs, hips to the ceiling, forward fold. Hands on your shins, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees. Go ahead and step that left foot back now. Change our low lunge into our warrior one. Set that back foot down. Make sure that the core is engaged. And inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink down. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale. Change that to warrior two. Expand everything from the center of your body outward. Turn that front hand over. Reverse your warrior. Open up. Exhale, warrior two. Go ahead and frame that forward foot. Turn that back heel up. Step that right foot to the back of the mat, downward facing dog. Looking at your hands, inhaling forward in your plank, exhaling, lowering down. Inhale, lift to cobra. Exhale back, child's pose, beautiful stretch. Curl the toes, lift the knees, downward facing dog. Take that right leg long behind you. Bring that knee to the chest and then sweep it forward. Low lunge. Walk the fingers again to the long side of your mat. Standing straddle. Release down. Let's take a moment here just to relax the neck, the shoulders, back side of the body. Keep the knees soft. Engage those quads to stretch those hamstrings. Just a couple more breaths. Awesome, Bernadette. 
expand the knee into the shoulders, nice flat back. Soften the knees, heel toe in a tiny bit. Walk the fingers around back, forward foot, that left foot. Once again, stepping back to your downward facing dog. So last little bit of core work here before we come down onto our mat in our downward facing dog, making sure we're spreading those fingers out wide, that we're pressing back into the hips and the thighs. Just so keep that weight equally balanced both sides of the body. Tuck that tummy in and lift your right leg long behind you. On your exhale, you're going to bring your knee to your chest, rock forward into plank and drop your forehead to your knee, rounding out that spine. On the inhale, extend out long behind you. On your exhale, knee to the chest, rock forward, forehead to the spine, rounding out. One more time, inhale and exhale. Good inhale, reach that right leg long behind you and let it float back to the mat. So hover around for a moment before we switch sides. Check in with that foundation. Shoulders away from the ears, broadening that upper back. Think about widening your collarbone if that's helpful. Good hold here, nice and strong. Everything coming from the center. Extend that left leg long. Inhale. On the exhale, knee to the chest, rock forward, drop your forehead to your knee, round your spine. Inhale, reach out. Exhale. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, hold for a moment. Good, and inhale. And float that down and exhale. Awesome. Let's kick our feet wide. Wide on our mat. Spread those fingers out wide, push forward, lean back. Good, so again, making sure that everything is stable here. We're gonna lift our left hand, reach for the outside of our right thigh, right calf, right ankle, as we look out underneath that right arm. Twisted dog. Before we move, again, stabilize. Shoulder girdle stable, pelvic girdle stable, belly button in and up. Lift the right hand off, reach for the thigh, the calf or the ankle as we look out underneath that left arm. And bring that back to center. And from here, we'll go ahead and bring those knees down, bring those big toes together, hips back. Maybe it would feel good this time to bring your hands and wrap them around your heels, release those shoulders down into whatever version of child's pose feels good in your body in this moment. knees together and sit back hips to the heels roll those shoulders back and down and I'm going to continue to stay sideways just so we can interlace the fingers here a little chest expansion draw those shoulder blades together on the back as we open up on the front of our body so keeping the thighs tucked nice and close together if it feels all right, go ahead and hinge forward, bringing the forehead towards the floor as we extend those arms. Stop and rewind it. Bringing our head beneath our heart. Allowing the thinking part of us to be in submission to the feeling part of us this morning. And then slowly releasing the hands once again down by the sides of our body. Lifting ourselves back up. Take the hands to one side, drop down onto the hips and sweep those legs forward. And let's just come into a seated position on our mat, making sure that we can feel those sit bones underneath us connected to the floor. 
for our foundation. Maybe just spinning those thighs inward, internal rotation of the thighs. Lift the shoulders up, release those shoulders back and down and lengthen the spine. A little bit of forward fold here to uh, reset, readjust, begin to calm the body, the body and the mind again. Take your hands up to the side, lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders. Let your heart lead as it comes towards your feet. Tuck your chin into your chest. Now tiptoe your fingers forward. Maybe you can reach your feet, but maybe you just reach your shins. Wherever you land is absolutely perfect. As you listen to your own body. Coming back to your intention, perhaps, that you set at the beginning of your practice. Your heart's desire want to leave behind and what you want to take with you. Good. So keeping the chin tucked, the core engaged, slowly come back up. We're going to take our hands behind our hips. Move the hands about six or maybe eight inches away from the hips. Draw those shoulder blades together on the back. Now you can go ahead and point your toes if you like. Make sure that the core is in, engaged for our reverse plank position. So tucking that tummy in and as you inhale, lift the hips. You can gaze forward. You can release the head and neck back. Again, it just depends on how that feels for your own head and neck. Opening up those shoulders, stretching the front side of the body. shoulders back and away from the ears. So you're kind of leaning back onto your hands, but your hands are maybe six or eight inches away from your hips. Bring those shoulder blades together on the back, engage the muscles in the back of the body, point the toes, tuck the tummy, and on the inhale, lift the hips, lift and fold. Gazing forward or releasing back, if that feels okay for the neck. here. Let's bend our knees, rest our hands on our shins, little cat and cow. So exhale, think about tucking and rounding that spine. Inhale, lifting and opening. Exhale, tucking and rounding. Good. Inhale, lifting and opening. Last time, exhale, tuck and round. Hold maybe for a moment. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly roll down onto our Again, take your time, slowly draw those knees gently into your chest, rock side to side. We're going to lower the feet, draw the shoulder blades under the back, tuck the tummy in, lift the hips, release the low back, hands can come by our sides. As we inhale, press into our feet to lift our hips and open the front of the body. And as we exhale, release one vertebrae at a time. Good, tuck that tummy in. Inhale and lift the hips. And exhale and lower. Good, inhale, lift and hold. A few breaths here. Slowly, carefully, releasing. Gently the knees come back, ease out that tension. And let's keep our right knee into our chest and extend that left leg. 
started the wrong one. Take your right hand to the outside of your right calf. Reach your right arm out to the side. Sorry, left arm. Left hand on the left calf. Right calf. And when you're ready, slowly, mindfully, twist to the side. And as you arise, then just let gravity take over. Maybe it would feel good to close your eyes now. Just for a few breaths, let gravity take over. Drawing those knees to the chest, release that low back, and then lower your feet. And as we move into this final relaxation, consider just letting everything go. Surrender completely into the support of the mat beneath you. Maybe you want to choose a recline bound angle. Maybe you need to keep your knees bent. Maybe it feels good to be fully extended in your corpse pose. So take your time and settle in. Considering again that which is tangible, your body, and that which is unseen, your breath. Connect those two things to steady and calm your mind. good day to really check in with your core, your essence, your help, heartfelt desire to ascend Calcutta. You are what your deep driving desire is. As your desire is, so is your will. And as so and so is as your will, so is your deed. And as your deed so is your destiny. So settle into your rest. Consider your sankalpa, your intention, your deepest heartfelt desire. Now what is it you would like to achieve with the rest of your day? Or perhaps you want to consider why you came here to this class. What was it you were looking for? What is it you want to let go of? What is it you want to take with you? How is it you want to show up to the world today? this time with yourself, with your body, and with your breath. And I'm going to finish our time together with one big breath. Inhale, and exhale. 
thank you for joining me this evening.